Hello everyone, really interesting problem today, 1 to the power x equal to 2, and we need to find our x from this interesting, interesting question. Of course, we prefer like kind of different problem, we prefer, for example, like 2 to the x equal to 3, like 3 to the x equal to, for example, 10, let's, different problem. But in our case, we have 1 to the power x equal to 2, and, and, and we all know that 1 to the x always equal to 1, so it's kind of impossible that 1 to the power x equal to 2, and, and we cannot find our x. But let's try to solve, let's try to solve it step by step with different methods. Maybe we'll find maybe complex roots right here. Let's start, for example, with natural log. Because we know if we have exponent, we can easily write natural log 1 to the x on the left hand side and equal to natural log 2. This is our beginning right here. So 1 to the x equal to natural log 2. Okay, what do we need to know next? We have right here our power. So we know that our power goes right here if you're talking about exponent, and that's why, of course, we take log, because we need x right here, x times nature log 1 equal to nature log 2. And from here, we can easily divide both sides by nature log 1, and as a result, we'll have x equal to nature log 2 over nature log 1. And this is our x. But if you look closely to this, nature log 2, this is a constant, of course, and natural log 1, this is a constant, but this constant is not defined because natural log 1 equal to 0. And we know that we cannot divide by 0. So right here, no real, real solution. This is the first approach. So we don't have any solution. And as a result, we will have complex roots right here. But how can you find this complex roots? This is really interesting and tricky moment. I want to show you a really good approach. First of all, we need to know the formula e to the power i times theta, I hope you know this formula, equal to cosine theta plus i times sine theta. This is formula in complex numbers. This is really a popular formula. So I want to write this, this formula right here. And I want to write special cases. So for example, theta will be equal to zero. If theta equal to zero, then e to the power i times zero equal to cosine zero, so we just plug in uh, zero instead of this theta, plus i sine zero. We know that i sine zero equal to zero, so cosine zero equal to one. As a result, we'll have e to the power zero equal to one, which is absolutely correct. So this formula is good. I just want to write that this case is work. Okay, let's go next. And right now, the really important moment and really important trick. So let's go with the first step. So let's theta will be equal to two k pi. If theta equal to 2k pi, of course k is a whole number, so k equal to 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, and a lot of a lot of numbers. Okay, if theta equal to 2k pi, what we will have as a result? e to the power i times 2 times k times pi equal to cosine 2k pi. So instead of theta, we just plug in 2k pi. And plus i sine 2k pi. Okay, we have this, this expression. And right now we are working with this with this formula because if k equal to one, take a look closely, if k equal to one, so for k equal to one, we will have e to the power i times two pi. So instead of k, we plug in, we plug in one. Two pi equal to cosine two pi and plus i sine two pi, which is equal right here to zero and right here equal to 1, because this is just a period. So this expression equal to 1, equal to 1, when k is a whole number, yeah? So when k equal to 1, this expression equal to 1 on the right hand side. Okay, let's go next. If k equal to, for example, 2, so for k, if k equal to 2, what we'll have as a result? We will have e to the power, e to the power, i times 2 times 2 pi equal to cosine 4 pi and plus i sine 4 pi. So we have this expression just multiplying by 2 equal to equal to 1. And if you look closely to this, cosine 4 pi equal to 1 because this is just a period. And right here i sine 4 pi equal to 0. So as a result this expression equal to 1 in the second case, when k equal to 2. But let's check the last one. So for example, k will be equal to will be equal to 3. What will have as a result? We will have i i e time to the power i times 3 times times 3 times 
times 3 pi times 2 equal to cosine 6 pi plus plus i say sine 6 pi and take a look closely right here the same situation cosine 6 pi equal to 1 and sine 6 pi equal to 0 because this is just a period 4 pi 6 pi and it's not hard to see that when k equal to 4 we will have 8 pi so the situation will be the same and of course we can write our final formula e to the power i times 2 times k times pi to the power or not to the power equal to 1 because this is this expression always equal to 1 when k is a whole number i showed it before so as you can see when k equal to 2 we have 1 when k equal to 3 we have 1 as well and when k equal to 1 we have 1 so this is a really important formula in our case because this formula include complex number right here and of course we need to find this complex number because k this is just in a whole numbers 1 2 3 4 5 pi we know it 3.14 so this is really good this is really good and let's write our expression so this is equal to 1 but 1 to the power x equal to 2 so we can easily plug in this expression instead of this one as a result e to the power i times 2 times k times pi to the power x equal to equal to 2 okay we just plug in this expression instead of this one okay let's go next we all know that right here we need to multiply our power so as a result we'll have e to the power i times 2 times k times pi and times x equal to equal to 2 so we have this this expression right now let's take natural natural log on both sides because we have a long power so as a result we will have e to the power e times 2 times k times pi times x times natural log e equal to natural log 2. I just go a little bit further. I just bring this power as, as a product right here because we take natural log, so it's it's really good. Okay, constant natural log e equal to equal to 1. So right here we have a constant. This is our x. This is a constant. This is like our, our, our k. k is z, the set of whole numbers. And right here we can easily find our x. Let's do this. Let's find our x. So x is right here, so as a result we need to divide both sides by this expression. So as a result in our numerator we will have natural log 2 and in our denominator we will have i times 2 times k times pi. Okay, we have this expression and it looks like our answer, but we can easily simplify this a little bit. Because we have our i in our denominator, but we know that i square equal to minus 1 and if we multiply right here by i and right here by i this i and this i give us minus one so as a result we have minus and we have this expression so as a result our final answer is here x equal to minus i in our numerator times natural log 2 all over 2 k pi and of course our our situation right here k is not equal to zero because this is in our numerator k denominator and k is a whole number and of course a lot of students ask me uh, okay this is not like a general solution because we have like k is not equal to zero but what about when k is equal to zero what about it what about k is is negative number we write right here only only positive numbers but right here we have zero we have in this this moment so this is not like a general solution but this is this is my approach to this interesting, interesting problem, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, I hope you still have a question about it, and write a question in comment about this, this approach, because no real roots, as you can see right here, 1 to the x equal to 2, no real roots, we all know about it, when 1 to the power 100 equal to 1, and of course this is a little bit different problem that we used to solve before, because we have 1 to the x. And this is maybe the main moment right here. So no real solution. We find a complex root right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment. Of course, write any question because maybe you find another approach to this problem because I, I find this approach and I want to share with you with this approach and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, support my channel and I really appreciate it. If it's not hard to you, please support my channel. Thank you and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and of course write your comments about this 
this problem. Thank you and have a great day. See you in the next videos.